Hello everyone, my name is Ali Mustafa and uh, today we are going to learn about Teachable Machines. Teachable Machines is one of the many uh, Google AI experiments which enables everyone to learn machine learning uh, with zero coding knowledge and deploy their machine learning models uh, on the fly. So today we are going to train a machine learning model without writing a single line of code and we are going to deploy that as well using Teachable Machines. So let's get started. You, uh, you will find uh, the URL in the description or you can just Google Teachable Machines and you can go to the URL there. So you can click on get started and here you can select type of project you want to work on. I will select image project because we are going to detect if uh, the person is wearing a mask or not. Okay. Uh, you can also navigate through here and see different videos available. Uh, if you are the, if you are visiting uh, Teachable Machines for the first time, you will be navigated through uh, different instructions. So yeah, uh, you don't need to worry about it at all. Click on the image project and then we will define two cross. Uh, first is not wearing mask and the second one is wearing mask okay so let's uh, add samples you can actually upload them but i will use my webcam uh, for easy approach here you can see me obviously so uh, but uh, the background is irrelevant because we are looking at the face so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this crop function so i will just crop it to my head so that we register only the face and um, done cropping okay that looks awesome okay <laughs> so this is not wearing mask so i'm going to just register click here and register my face here so mm -hmm, i'm going to take 200 examples because that is going to be educated you can also take 100 examples don't take too many examples else it will crash your browser so 200 examples that's good pretty good you can also change the settings of frame uh, per second if you're attacking if you're not just forget it now the second example is wearing mask so let's enable the webcam and here we need to wear a mask so i'm just going to grab a mask and wear it okay this looks good let's record the examples mm -hmm -hmm. okay let's uh, cover all the examples possible and we are going to record 200 images for this as well so yeah that's good now what i can do is i can train the machine learning model by just click uh, clicking on a button train model so I don't, it doesn't show me any option to select a model or something, but uh, if you are an advanced machine learning user, you can always click on advanced and see different options available. I'll just train the model as a newbie training. Um, I can look at the advanced part and uh, see it under the hood. So it will train the model. It will take um, around uh, two to five minutes, depending on the data set and the number of classes. Um, our model should be trained within five minutes. Uh, it does show you that you can just keep the tab running and you can switch and do your work until it is training. But I guess our model will be trained within a minute and I hope so. So yeah, it took I guess um, 15 seconds to train a model and if you see under the hood, you can see Epoch um, uh, accuracy is around uh, 91, that's 100% accuracy and loss is around 0.00001, that's negligible. Let's test a model. So not wearing mask, okay, that's perfect, 100% accuracy. Let's wear a mask, okay here i bring in whoopies it works okay <laughs> so let's try to half wear it and try to confuse the machine um okay it does work um i'm going to use another mask uh, which i didn't train from so let's see if it detects that oh yes it was able to detect it uh, that's awesome really awesome so uh, something which is very which is non-coding in nature and you're getting this much amount of uh, accuracy that's really crazy and here comes the fun part so most of the models or most of the machine learning problems which we uh, usually do we just keep it on our machine but here you can share it so click here in the top right corner and you can see the export model button click there and you can see that you can actually upload your model to google cloud and um, free of cost so they are not going to charge you anything and your model will be uploaded and people can use it you will get a public url for that so because we are and obviously google is a privacy first company so you don't need to worry about your facing faces being uploaded to Google uh, servers. But yeah, it's only the model which is going to be uploaded. So let's upload a model and it will give us uh, a public URL. So yeah, we have our public URL. So we can copy this 
at the same time it does allow us to use uh, uh, the code which we can just copy paste and it will enable us to use our model or embed our model anywhere okay using tensorflow.js we can also uh, use tensorflow for your or we can convert it to light and use it on android application or coral okay edge device so what um, that's uh, that's that's it we already deployed the model so let's test our model in a new tab uh, let's run this okay so it should work um, and you can see this is a public url and uh, yeah it is working not wearing a mask let me try and wear a mask oh yes this uh, really works and anyone can use this model so that's the beauty of it so what i can do is i can just uh, use this files and it will actually work for any individual okay now uh, if you are a techie i'll just demonstrate a bit of a coding don't worry it is just copy pasting so what you can do is you can actually click on export model uh, copy this completely and paste it anywhere so what i'm going to do is uh, i can open uh, uh, a simple visual uh, so i can just uh, open open a folder and um, i can add a file called as index.html so just give me a second i'll just add a file and copy paste this so here we go index.html and just paste this code save it and um, i'm going to open that right here and you can see uh, i just copy pasted the code okay and you can click on start and it will load the same model which we were using previously allow it and uh, yeah you can see not wearing mask 99 and uh, once i wear a mask please wearing mask 98 percentage so that's how simple it is um, have you already replaced uh, data scientists out there not really this is a very you know generic problem but uh, major problems does require a data scientist and the people who have developed this system are also data scientists probably so yeah Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I hope you, I, I, I would love to see what you kind of develop uh, using this and I will post this public URL down there so that you can test it out and give me some feedbacks, maybe improving the model. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I copied this already, so peace. And uh, I, can, uh, I can also save this in my drive, okay? So I can save this project to the drive, but I'm not going to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, have a good day.